because brahma qualified himself for such reception the lord was pleased to disclose the purpose of shrimad bhagavatam so brahma ji did tapasya he was detached from the sense gratificatory activities he did tapasya and as we do tapasya tapasya means uh, like today is the ekadashi day so it's a tapasya is fasting right. similarly there are different different kinds of tapasya or yagnas or sacrifices so when we do sacrifice which means that we are controlling our senses we are controlling our material activities and dedicating more time for remembering krishna so brahma did tapasya so here prabhu ji writes that this stage of detachment from the sensory world and full satisfaction was the qualification by which brahma could know could understand could see lord vishnu so brahma was qualified so then tene brahma rada adi kave mulyanti yat surya so that is the first shloka of shrimad bhagavatam where uh, brahma ji was taught by lord krishna when brahm lord appeared within the heart of brahma ji so this is the qualification not that one can be gram academic scholar or phd or whatever it is so that is what is required the material qualifications are not required for knowing lord or purpose of bhagavatam what is the purpose of bhagavatam one who can know the purpose of bhagavatam is the person who is detached from sense gratifying sensory world and fully satisfied mm-hmm. like parikshit maharaj parikshit maharaj detached himself from all his material uh, activities and he surrendered to shrimad bhagavatam so that is the requirement to understand shrimad bhagavatam this direct instruction by lord to any devotees who is detached from the world of sense gratification is possible as stated in bhagavad gita 10.10 lord says to arjuna desham satata yuktanam bhajitam priti purvakam dadami buddhi yogam tam yena mam upayantite desham satata yuktanam satata means constantly yuktanam engaged bhajitam priti purvakam bhajitam means bhakti priti purvakam with love it is not that somebody has told you so you do it you do with all your heart and soul dadami buddhi yogam tam and then lord gives buddhi ye namam upayantite in this way lord gives the mercy to the devotee and the devotee can know lord with that mercy oh. so translation is and to the devotees who are constantly engaged in lord's transcendental ser- loving service priti purvakam out of his causeless mercy upon the devotee lord gives direct instruction to that devotee so that the devotee may take accurate progress on the path returning home back to godhead so this is one of the qualification priti purvakam uh, so if we are engaged in service of krishna with all love and all of our heart and soul constant engagement huh? that is also another very important thing constantly engaged in service of lord with all heart and love and uh, everything uh, surrendering to krishna then krishna will give causeless mercy uh, this is very important causeless mercy means ahituki apratihata which means causeless means that you are not eligible but still krishna gives you eligibility so this is the mercy like we are not eligible to go back to home back to godhead but prabhu pai ji gives causeless mercy that devotee who chants uh, 16 rounds does follow four regulative principle can uh, is eligible so this is causeless mercy so lord gives the 
if you are constantly engaged in service of Krishna with love and surrender, then Krishna gives his causeless mercy and what, what is the result of that? Krishna will give direct instruction. Tene Brahma Rudha Adi Kavaye Muyanti Yata Surya. So from the heart, Krishna will give the instruction how he can progress on the path of bhakti. And with that progress, one can go back to home, back to Godhead. One should not therefore try to understand the four, these four verses of Srimad Bhagavatam by mental speculation, rather by direct perception of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. One is able to know all about his abode Vaikuntha as was seen and experienced by mm. Brahmaji. So there is no point in uh, trying to study Bhagavatam by mental speculation. Uh, mm. What is mental speculation means? Mental speculation means uh, try to interpret the meaning of the words of Bhagavatam without authority. So, when we want to understand the Bhagavatam, we understand from the devotees who have uh, surrendered to Krishna. So, Srila Prabhupada's purports are very important for us because this is where we understand the Bhagavatam as it is rather than trying to figure out something of our own brain. Such Vaikuntha realization is possible by any devotee of the Lord situated in the transcendental position as a result of devotional service. In Gopal Tapani Upanishad, Shruti, it is said, Gopavesho me purushaha purastad avibhabhuva. The Lord appeared before Brahma as a cow boy or cowherd boy, that is, as the original personality of Godhead, Lord Shri Krishna. Govinda, who is later described by Brahmaji in his Brahma Samhita. So, with Brahmaji's tapasya, uh, Krishna appeared in front of Brahma as a Govinda, as the cowherd boy, as a Gopal. Hmm? Ah, this is described by Lord in, uh, sorry, Brahmaji in Brahma Samhita. Chinta Mani Prakara Shadmashu Kalpa Vruksha. Loka Vrateshu Surabhir Abhipale Antam Lakshmi Sahastra Shatasam Brahma Sevya Manam Govindam Madhi Purusham Tamam Bhajami So uh, Brahmaji desires to worship the original personality of God and Lord Shri Krishna who resides in the topmost Vaikuntha planet known as Golopurandavandam where he is in the habit of keeping Survi cow as a cowboy and where he is served by hundreds and thousands of goddess of fortune, the gopis with love and respect. So this is the translation of this particular shloka. Chinta mani prakara shadmashu kalpa vruksha laksha vrateshu surbhir apipalya yantam. So in the Golo Vrindavan Dham, Krishna is in the form of a Gwala, Gaw, 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 Gopal. Okay. And he is looking after the cow, prominent of that is Surbhi cow. And there to serve Krishna, there are Sahastra Lakshmi. Uh, thousands and thousands of Lakshmi Mata is serving Krishna with love and respect. Therefore, Lord Krishna is the original form of the Supreme Lord. Krishna stu Bhagavan Swayam. This is confirmed in many literature. Uh, here Brahmaji also. Govindam Adi Purusham. Adi Purusham means he is the original uh, Supreme Personality of Godhead. Everything comes. He is the fountain head of all the incarnations of Krishna. So he is Avatari. This is also clear from this instruction. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is Lord Krishna and not directly Narayan or Purusha avatars, which are subsequent manifestations. So all the other avatars, Vishnu, Mahavishnu, Garbhodakshai, Vishnu, Chirodakshai, Vishnu and then Ananta avatar, uh, Purusha avatar, Rila avatar, Manvant avatar, Shaktyavesh avatar, 
all the avatars they come from lord krishna going lord krishna is krishna's tu bhagwan sayam govinda madi purusham tamam majam even in in shrimad bhagavad gita also arjuna says to lord krishna when he sees vishwarupa or krishna shows vishwarupa where all the incarnations all the devi devatas everything coming from krishna's body when vishwarupa is seen by arjuna arjuna is mesmerized he says that oh i had just heard from asita devala vyasa that you are the fountain head of all the incarnation but now i am seeing it personally this is amazing so arjuna also confirms that in bhagavad gita therefore shrimad bhagavatam means consciousness of the supreme personality of godhead lord shri krishna and shrimad bhagavatam is the sound representation of lord as much as bhagavad gita it is huh? so this shrimad bhagavatam and bhagavad gita they are none other than krishna himself in the form of a sound so if we really want to understand krishna consciousness then we have to read shrimad bhagavatam and bhagavad gita and that is why we read shrimad bhagavatam every day morning and evening it's called nityam bhagavata sevaya bhagavati uttama shloke bhakti bhavati naishtaki if we read constantly shrimad bhagavatam and bhagavad gita our bhakti will be fixed we will have no problem thus the conclusion is that shrimad bhagavatam is the science of lord in which the lord and his abode are perfectly realized so if we really read shrimad bhagavatam every day then we will be able to understand lord krishna his abode his activities his past times which are none other than krishna himself hare krishna